Hi, so I'd like to show you how to remove the top visor and the front visor. I think it's called, I don't know, is there a different name for this? Maybe you guys can help me out. Okay, so uh, I look it up on YouTube and there's no videos about how to remove, especially the visor here. Uh, this is pretty straightforward because uh, it has some uh, like kind of uh, bolts, plastic bolts that you turn and this uh, comes off. The difficult part is to remove uh, this visor over here. So uh, I'm gonna, I want to clean it up, so that's why I want to remove it and then do this video for you guys that don't know how to do it. Uh, so basically you just turn here with a coin. It's about like a quarter turn. And then you do the same for this side. Oh, let's go to the top. Let's do the top one, which is basically a screw. And you just turn like so. And you put this to the side. And then you can take this off. Okay. Just put it aside. Okay, the difficult part comes in here. Uh, there's like a tab that you pull here. If you can see that. There. I hope, I hope you can see on video. You have to pull this back, okay? Um, by doing this, you're gonna remove the top tap over there. So first off, you have to lift off the helmet, the I'm sorry, the visor to the top position like this, and then you're gonna pull this. And then with this hand, you're gonna try to hold it like this and try to push it back and up at the same time. Like so. See? Uh, it's, uh, at first, you may think you, you may wanna like break this. Oh, there's actually like a crack there. I don't know if you can see that. It's like a line there. So you wanna be careful with this. You know, you can break this off, but that's the only way to do it. I don't, I don't see, I actually went to a dealer and they showed me uh, what, I mean, how it's done and it, this is the, the correct way to do it. And then the other side, just go the same. Just pull back on the top, really hard like that. And then put back back and top like so see that and you can you can have this off uh, the the part you know that prevents a uh, fogging it's really uh, it's really flexible I used to have a LS2 helmet and this part it was like a hard it was just like this like a hard acrylic but it's just really soft so if you want to remove that uh, you don't need to take off uh, these tabs over there at the edge. Besides, you really can because it looks like this is uh, permanent, permanent in there. So you just basically uh, take this off. You try to open it up, the visor, and check it off. First, uh, you want to lift the middle section. So, see, you gotta lift it and then pull this back. See, and you can have this off. So you can clean it up, you know, if you need to. So to put this back on, uh, just go the same. Just put one tap first over there and do the same procedure. Uh, try to lift off the middle section, like so, and try to position the other tap, and you're gonna put it back in place, like so. Maybe lift it up a little bit. 
Oh, sorry, I think it's a little. Just know that it's straight. There you go. Okay. There you go. Okay. And then to put it uh, back home, it's basically the same procedure. Uh, first off, you're gonna put the the tap over there. The, the tap facing this part of the of the helmet. Push it. Get it in there. And when it's in there, just put this back on, like so. You know, it makes a lot of noise, and you know, it, it, I mean, you may be afraid you might break it, but that's the only way to do it. And we go to the other side, and we do the same. Just try first to dip this tap inside there, like so. Push it back. It, it is in there, and then push back the other tap, like so. It takes a little bit of practice to do it. And then you put back the, the top visor. First off, uh, you put the, here, the top screw. But looks like I'm missing, where is it? Hold on a second. Okay. Don't uh, forget uh, this part, which goes in there. So you don't scratch your helmet, but it still, you know, gets some scratches over here. So first off, we're gonna put the screw here. Just hand tighten it. Don't put it too tight. And then I'll give you a tip for this because at first I was like trying to guess where it goes, which goes over here. I'll give you a uh, like a line to, 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 you know, to put it as a guide. Uh, this part of the helmet, it has to be, it has to be like at the bottom of the, of the letters, of the BMW letters, like that. And, uh, the, and then the, there you can see it. And then this part has to be aligned with this bottom part. So if you put it like this, it should be aligned. Just keep turning. Just keep turning it until you get in there. See? So you have to align this uh, top part of the visor to the bottom part of the letters. And then this part has to be aligned with the black part of the helmet. And you do the same with your side. We align the black part, the, the bottom part, and then the black part here. And then we just, just turn until it positions in there. See? And then turn it. Okay? Another tip, uh, you can position this helmet all the way down here, the, I'm sorry, the visor, or all the way up. Don't uh, put it uh, all the way down like this, because if you do that, you're going to scratch the visor over here because uh, it touches this top part touches with this uh, top part when it's all the way down so what I do I, I actually cut this sometimes so I mean the, the scratch here is just a, it's, it's just really light it's not that uh, strong so what I do it's uh, just lift it up and leave like a you know little space there and that's the position this is a safe position to adjust the top uh, visor okay so in this way when you lift uh, this up you won't touch the top visor All right so i hope this helps you if you want to disassemble remove uh, and disassemble your your visors thank you